Thank you, Madam Speaker. 48 years ago this week, on July 20th, 1974, the Turkish military invaded the Republic of Cyprus in direct, direct violation of the Charter of the United Nations and international law. To this day, there's been no accountability for the deaths, displacement, and destruction caused by this illegal invasion and occupation. I urge the President, Secretary Blinken, and this body to join calls for the immediate removal of Turkish troops, the return of property to rightful owners, and the reunification of Cyprus. Today, Cyprus, Greece, and other nations in the Eastern Mediterranean face more aggression and continued threats from Turkey under President Erdogan, who has threatened exclusive economic zones, ordered repeated military flyovers over the Greek islands, undermined NATO sanctions on Russia and U.S. operations in Syria. Despite Turkey's aggression, President Biden plans to sell U.S. fighter jets to Turkey. I thank my colleagues on both sides of the aisle for supporting our amendment last week to prevent this sale and our efforts to deliver just in Cyprus once and for all. Thank you, and I yield back. Gentlewoman yields back. Gentleman from Tennessee, for what purpose does a gentleman from Tennessee seek recognition? Seek unanimous consent to address the House.